Good, good. Boom. Hey. How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode. I'm here with Mr. Dean Sunil. Woo! Fresh off the plane. I just came in from Louisville, Kentucky. Woo! Exactly. Literally, literally just off of the plane. Uh, and we've literally just filmed a video for Dean's channel. If you haven't seen his channel, go to Mad Mixologist. You, yes, tell, him. you tell him. It's the Mad Mixologist on YouTube. Come check it out. I do uh, a flair and big visual things, uh, lots of uh, mixology as well. I'm teaching magic tricks and I'm doing collaboration at the end of the month. Ta -da! <laughs> He's the first guy. He's the king of flair right here in London. Mm, nah, I don't know. Uh, well, let's see. But. Um, yeah, if you haven't gone to check out Dean's channel, go and check it out. There is a link in the description below. So go and subscribe, hit the little bell, like it, comment, and do all that lovely stuff. He's got some awesome, awesome content, which I think you'll really, really enjoy. So go check it out. Just quickly, Dean Sir he was the guy who invented the flare bottle. So all those plastic bottles that you're using at home, this is the guy that invented it. So say thank you by hitting that like button on this video. And the portable bars. And the portable Woo! bars. I mean, you've got a lot to thank for this guy right here. And today, He's gonna show you a trick, okay, on the bar, which you can do in any bar, whether you're a pub, a cocktail bar. Yeah, any bar, any bar tent. I mean, you can do it at, uh, at home for your friends and family at home if you want. Uh, these tricks are great. Not only will you make extra cash with them, extra tips, uh, but it's also a memory maker. Uh, one of the things that I love about doing magic behind the bar uh, or any kind of tricks like this is People will walk away and they'll go to work the next day and they'll be like, this bartender last night blew my brain out, man. He did this cool thing and da 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 And then they bring friends back to your bar. There you go. So what I have here is I have nine different coins set up on the bar. So you can just take coins out of a tip jar or whatever and just line them up on the bar. Now- Hang on, hang on, you're in England. There's people watching from England. Tip jars. Right, that's true. But anyway, you should get some coins from the till if, the, if you're sneaky. Or bring some coins with you. There you go. All right. <laughs> So, nine coins, I mean, it could be nine matches, it could be nine little balls of, of paper if you want. Fantastic. All right, it could be just absolutely anything you can find behind the bar. Set them up, there's, uh, there's three, uh, three rows of three. Now, as the magician slash bartender, uh, I'm gonna turn away, and okay. I would like you to touch one of these coins. Okay. Don't tell me what it is. Sure. I'm gonna turn away, you touch the coin, uh, and then I'll come back and I'll try to figure out what coin it was. Oof. How are you looking? Okay. You come back. All right. I'm gonna try to figure out which coin it is. Never. All right, it's, it's not one of these coins. All right, I can just feel it because I can feel the heat that comes off the coin from where your finger was. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't those. It, it, was it this coin? How the fuck did you do that? Huh? It's better with three people, but we pulled it off with huh? two. Now, secretly, while you weren't watching, I was talking to Tom, my confederate. <laughs> Sorry, did you like my reaction? I thought it was pretty good. I thought you were excellent. Thank you, yeah. thank you. That was my acting for a second there. <laughs> but I was fully in on it because, like you said, you need three people, but we did it with two. So let's pretend we have someone on the other side of the bar and we're doing the trick for that person on the other side of the bar. Uh, we've got Tom and I behind the bar and, and the plant in the audience or the stooge of the audience, and you're my stooge today. Sure, I am a stooge. Uh, could be anywhere, could be anybody. But the key is this napkin over here and Tom's drink. Boom. The napkin has four corners and a center, so it's just like this coin setup. All right, so Tom's drink is on a napkin. And Tom could be just a regular, one of your regulars at the bar or somebody at the bar, all right? I, as the bartender, I turn away. That's it. Somebody I... at the bar touches a coin. Somebody would go, so we'll use the same one as before. And then I place the drink in the position where the coin is gonna be, or the, the coin that I chose. So I come back from wherever it was that I, uh, I've done this and, and people have like 
gone all around me, and there's three people covering <laughs> me up to make sure I can't see. And we've made this this trick drag on for 10, 15 minutes. It's amazing. So I come back, and this is all just, oh, I can't feel it over there, whether it's heat or whatever it is that you want to make up as your story uh, on how you draw yourself to, I'm feeling a magnetic connection to this coin, because all I did was look at Tom's drink, and Tom only needs to do that once, all right? He needs to put it there once. He'll know that I have seen it, and then he can go on his merry way with his drink, exactly. and no one on the other side of the bar knows what's going on. That's it, it's just nine coins and a napkin, and you're making extra money, and people are talking about you when they go home. Super simple, super, super simple to learn, and I guess a lot of fun. I do have a feeling so much fun. when I was working behind the bar, somebody did show me this. Maybe you showed yeah. it to me many yeah, years ago. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I can imagine there's a lot of fun to be had behind the bar, uh, and I guess you can make a lot of tips, even in England, you can probably make tips. To make a little uh, extra money. Exactly, yeah. a little extra money along the way. Um, but yeah, give it a shot. Let me know how you get on. Again, go and check out Dean's channel. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. And uh, we're gonna continue enjoying these awesome chocolate old fashions which we made on Dean's channel just about 10 minutes ago. Thanks for inviting me over to London so that we can do this little bit. No, my pleasure and thank you very much for coming. Uh, we're gonna go out tonight, uh, hit the town and check out a few cocktail bars. But until next time, we'll see you then. Check out Flare Camp. And that's the end. <laughs>